Welcome to our tutorial on using the TF Design software. The 647X6 software can be downloaded on the Autobock homepage or alternatively ordered as a CD. The software can be started following the installation. Various groups can be created in the left-hand field. In the center field, existing patients can be selected or a new patient can be created. This is done by entering all of the relevant data in the provided fields. A new task is set up in order to create a new check socket in the software. The software is divided into the Specification, Socket View, Component Selection and Order Details tabs. In this video, I will be showing you around the software and explaining the tasks. The Specification tab is where socket-specific data are selected and the patient's measurements are entered. For the standard reduction of the circumference measurements, I recommend a reduction from 4% on the proximal end to 0 when taking measurements without a liner and a reduction of 2% on the proximal end to 0 when taking measurements with a liner. The intermediate values are reduced equally here. The only exception is the ProSeal socket type. No further reduction should be made for this socket when measurements were taken over the liner. These are default values and the individual residual limb conditions should be taken into account. A three-dimensional view of the calculated prosthetic socket can be seen in the Socket View tab. This can be custom adapted for an optimal fit. The adduction angle is determined in relation to the natural socket wall and not in relation to the longitudinal axis of the residual limb. I can use the position of the socket in the 3D view for orientation when checking the adduction angle. This is often a better indicator than the value of the displayed adduction angle. The model is always preflexed by 5 degrees in the sagittal plane. There are eight patches available for custom adapting the prosthetic socket to the residual limb conditions. The patches are only visible in the software if they are useful from a biomechanical and functional perspective. The maximum adjustment strength of the patches is between 6 and 8 millimeters. Using patches thereby influences the socket volume. I recommend a patch depth of 2 to 4 millimeters for thin residual limbs a patch depth of 4 to 6 mm for normal residual limbs and a patch depth of 6 to 8 mm for adipose residual limbs. As a rule of thumb, we have to decrease the reduction of the circumference measurements by 1 to 2 percent for three quarters of the patches used with a patch depth of 75 to 100 percent. In terms of handling the patches, it's easier to subsequently deform the patches thermically outwards than to reinforce them. The Component Selection tab is where socket adapters can be selected. These are not mounted. Only the vacuum forming adapters from service fabrication are integrated during the vacuum forming process. The order list for the current task is displayed in the Order Details tab. This can be viewed and edited if necessary. The Order Details button is used to send the order to service fabrication by email. The order is then processed at service fabrication and the check socket is shipped on the following working day. If the order is received before 12 noon, the check socket is shipped the same day. 